Yo, what's up everyone? We are chilling. It's Sunday, housework's getting done, yard work's getting done. We fished yesterday, it was beautiful. Um, today's beautiful, it's gonna be 77 a day, low mid 70s for the next four or five days. Spring is definitely here. Um, had a great day yesterday. I mean, relatively, it was great. Um, I mean, it was great. I just, uh, I, I missed some fish that I probably shouldn't have. Um, they just weren't committing, and they, typical throwing a spinnerbait when they jump, backflips, and all that kind of stuff. But other than that, it was a phenomenal day. Uh, I caught first thing in the morning, like the fifth cast off a of main lake point, kind of coming into a spawning pocket. I chucked the jig out, and I caught a 533. Awesome fish, it, it freaking smoked the jig before you hit the bottom, so you know you got the right color when they're cracking it before it hits the bottom. Um, the bluegill finally moved up from the 40 to 50 foot range, and they're moving up to the 6 to 8 foot, the 10 foot to 12 foot range on the uh, weed lines. But we, uh, we, we moved and we hit another lake, and the water was dirty, I hadn't fished it all year, so I didn't know what to throw, so I picked up a spinnerbait, um, it's actually my custom color spinnerbait, my custom coleslaw spinnerbait. Uh, just because the water's super dirty there, it was a little off color. This bait right here just shows up really well. Um, it's pretty beat up. I used it last year. Head's a little tore up from banging on rocks and stuff like that. Um, I went with the white willow leaf blade here. It's a little bit smaller blade and then I went with a chartreuse Colorado kicker here in the middle. Uh, the coleslaw with the custom head, the uh, chartreuse orange custom head that I paint. I actually just restocked Omega with these. Um, until I get more in to paint, they only have like 16 or 17 in stock and they're going pretty fast as well. So if you guys have not seen this bait, um, this is their tunable titanium spinnerbait. So the wire is tunable titanium, so it flexes and gets back. But when you bend it and all that stuff, you can bend it back and it won't break. Um, the unique feature on it is this blade right here is a quick clevis, so you can switch that out. So I can go from a chartreuse uh, Colorado to double willow to an orange blade just like that. Yes, it is that quick and simple. It just rolls, clip it on, you're good to go. So you can run a single, double, double Colorado, whatever combination you want. We got blades that they sell you know, online. I also got a, a trailer hook, which uh, most of the time the fish eat it. Yesterday, we hit the, we hit the second lake and you know, I'm throwing up on the bank because it's kind of shallow for about five feet and then it drops off. So those fish are kind of off that little drop in that four to five, six foot of rain, you know, water right now waiting to move up. The water's in the 60s, low 60s, upper 50s. Um, it'll pop this week. But, so I was throwing it up. First fish smoked it and it went straight out to deep water and I caught up with it. You know, and I, you know, I set the hook pretty damn hard. So, I thought I had him buttoned, and as soon as he came running to the boat, he jumped once, cool. Buddy grabbed the net, um, jumped the second time, and as soon as he jumped the second time, he shook his head and flung the spinnerbait out. Pretty typical with spinnerbaits. I mean, the leverage and the weight and all that kind of stuff, they fly out. It happens. I hate it. Um, I'm usually pretty good with uh, keeping them buttoned up. So we fished down the way. That fish was like over five pounds easy. Um, it was fat, chunky fish. It was a good fish. Um, we moved down. We go down the way. I stick a really good one. It's probably in the four and a half to five pound range on a spinnerbait on a shallow flat. Again, they're moving from the deeps coming up, just kind of rotating around, waiting to move up and spawn, waiting for the males to make beds. Moved down. Um, same thing. I, uh, I, I throw it parallel to the bank. Or more like a 70 degree angle where I'm where I'm coming off the shallow and kind of dragging it down to drop. It gets smoked again. Uh, my buddy's up front, you know, we're both up front throwing spinner baits and doing whatever. I see it jump the first time, he just oh shit. I mean he grabs that net as fast as he possibly could. 
By the time he was grabbing the net and turning around, um, she jumped again right at the boat, shook her head, did a backflip. Spinnerbait comes flying out. That fish was over six pounds. Um, really good fish. It's kind of bummed. I mean, two fish, I had about 11 or 12 pounds. Um, you know, it happens. It is what it is. Not a big deal. We were just kind of out there having some fun. A um, couple, you know, hour and a half goes, and we hit the flat again. And there's some rock and some, uh, like, a standing timber or stick or something on it. Power pulled down. Um... He's throwing a spinnerbait out back, and I'm throwing a spinnerbait. I turn around, and I just fling it right over the flat, bring it by, and I get absolutely crushed by this fish. And it was a giant. I see her jump, and I'm freaking out. Um, the fish ends up in the net, get her in, and it ends up being a 707. It's my biggest fish of this year. Uh, huge fish. She's super fat. I mean, she is ready to drop eggs and spawn probably in the next, I would say, two weeks. Whatever this full moon is, if we can continue this warm trend, they're all going to drop eggs within the next two weeks or three weeks um, on some of these lakes. Bigger impoundments, it's going to take a little bit, about a month or so, but we're warming pretty quick. I mean, it's going to be in the 70s, so it's it super cool. Um, I'm throwing it on 20-pound Seaguar Brazex. I like the heavy line. Um, it's got a little stretch, not too bad. I'm throwing it on the uh, Dobbins Sierra 703C, Daiwa Steez A, 6-3 to 1 gear ratio. Um, no carbon handle on this one, just a typical handle. Um, you know, I've got my brake setting to 5 or 4 to 6, depending on the wind. But this is the uh, Coleslaw half ounce. Custom, uh, I'll make a custom tackle spinnerbait. I love the way you can just swap out blades. I do it all the time to match the forage and match colors, especially with your skirts and everything. You can kind of customize it. But that is it, guys. Smash that thumbs up. I actually have one more. One more. Um, getting schooled with reels. I forgot I, I had some other reels. It's actually probably one of my most uh, enjoyable is the finesse stuff. So... I'm going to hopefully post that up this week. I'm going to talk to you guys later. Smash that thumbs up, guys. I'll talk to you guys later.